Hi. Welcome to TJ and Jody's house. All right. Here we are. The wonderful program that's all over the internet um, that, you know, is so special and so important to the world as we talk about the behind the scenes things that go on in our marriage. <laughs> she sounds like a dork. TJ and Jody's house. Oh, but it's more than our house. It's our life. Uh. And we feel that our life <sighs> as a married couple of 61 years is just so <laughs> important that it would be a sin not to share it with you. Mm-hmm. Now, as always, we want to say, oh, such a heartfelt thank you. To our friends at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress <laughs> for making this all possible, being the sponsor of TJ and Jody's House, the podcast. Uh-huh. Now, Jody, yes. Angel, Kitten. Yes, don't call me Kitten. What are the wonderful things going on? Now, you, you actually went and talked to the fine people. You talked to Katie yes. as well as uh, Virgo. Or Libra. Oh, her name's Libra. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sorry, Libra. Yes, I went in and chatted with them. Oops. I wanted to see all the new um, things that they've gotten in, and they showed me um, a new couch set that they have. Um, it's their Lux Living Line. Yes, and you can arrange it to fit your living room or whatever room you wanted in specifically Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. stain resistant to the point of if you spilled bleach on it it's not gonna show well i don't know what kind of magic that is it's magic but you can't even stain it with bleach like bleach won't take the color out of it no isn't that insane and then our chairs that we have that we love the swivel uh recliners all new materials uh and prints and that loved it had to sit in that a little bit yeah they've improved the chairs that we've got several times since we've gotten new ones i want new ones but i I will um and then uh we decided that we were a little tired so we went and laid down on their new mattress oh if you can't find me that's where i'm gonna be just laid Mm -hmm. up in there and it's um their posh and lavish line. Oh, posh and lavish. Yes. Okay. And now is it like two different things like posh and lavish or posh and lavish? Posh and lavish. Okay. One and thing. um you can get it in a split king. You can mm-hmm. I mean there's all different ways to get it, but oh my gosh, that is the most comfortable mattress. We should have gotten us one or two. Well, I was going to... You didn't have my truck, so I guess you couldn't. uh, But they do have a great delivery service, so, you know, whatever you're looking for, whether it's living room furniture, bedroom furniture, mattresses, pillows, all of it is at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Go to their website, acetj.com slash mattress. You can check out all of their stuff. They have several locations, including an outlet store Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all throughout the Lake Norman area, but delivering... Uh, Charlotte and beyond. Yes. You know, so acetj.com slash mattress, sweet dreams, mattress and furniture. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Huh. Hmm. Now, um, hold on a minute. I moved my notes here and put them underneath the computer. (laughs) I don't know why. Uh, Um, so this is actually take two. Uh, Uh we started a minute ago and then I realized that I didn't turn the the monitor around, so you know I always have to do that so Jody doesn't stare at herself in the you were staring at yourself in the thing and you know stare down uh-huh. here when the camera's up there. And I took the little sign off the camera that that said "Look here" with an arrow because I figured you would have that down by now to look at the camera. I do. Thank okay. you, teacher. Well, good. So Jody had a big day yesterday. Mm-hmm. The whole small town adventure. Anytime. Um, my little friend Jenny and her handsome husband Michael are not here on the weekends, and we do a small town adventures by ourselves. If you don't know what that is, um, that's where we just pick a Saturday and go to a a little place, you know that that needs to be um, discovered. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just maybe some place we've never been. We go into these smaller uh-huh. towns and just see what all they have to offer and the fun stuff and and on. So uh, when um, my little friend Jenny and handsome husband Michael are with us, then it has a certain theme to it where we'll end up going from, you know, but pretty much bars and restaurants yeah. around. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then when they're not with us, then that is the opportunity for Jody to make me go do things that are <laughs> kind of feminine. 
right, I do. Oops. But yesterday was the most feminine yeah. thing that I've had to do. It and, was. Um, it was. And that was, uh, well, first of all, she gave me a head fake because she was like, it's going to be raining all day Saturday. Let's just stay home. Let's just relax. What was, was supposed like, to be? Oh, wow. That would be hot. And watch movies and just oh, chill out. Watch and, movies. You know, okay. whatever. So then she said, well, it's not raining anymore. Let's go. <laughs> so we went to the tulip farm. Yeah. I've done that the last several years ago, and but it is a short window that you can go get the tulips. As you know, tulips don't bloom long Mm -hmm. and i've gone Uh, in the past with our daughter but now she's gone and i had nobody to go with well i mean she's in nashville yeah i mean i don't want you to say like no she was gone she's living out of town so i wanted to go and um i didn't i was going to try to go and plan a time to go but then i thought hmm we're looking for something to do wouldn't you love to go to a tulip farm and I knew it wasn't going to take long. Yeah. And it didn't. And it's cute out there. It was adorable. It was, it was cold. So beautiful. It was cold. It was windy. That was the thing. You mm-hmm. don't like wind. You're fine with cold, but windy. Yeah. But we, we went prepared because they had had on their um, social media pages that if you came out that uh, to wear uh, boots because it was really muddy. So we were prepared. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. I got my tulips. So they give you a basket and a pair of scissors. And you walk through the different rows of tulips. And they have them planted in different... In the, Each row is a different so color. Oh, so so you go pick the colors that you want. And so you got a dozen tulips and it was what? A dollar a stem. A, okay, so a dollar a, 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 tulip, a tulip. And then they charge you $5 at the gate mm-hmm. to get in. So I had we had $22 of fun. Mm-hmm. And then I'd be glad I didn't make you pose. Did you see the uh, antique bath out in the middle of the tulips that you can lay in and take a picture? No. I didn't <laughs> I see that. I should have put you in that. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know how you'd get out. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would be what funny. Do you how, how we well, you're clumsy. Uh, uh-huh. Clumsy is the new word for fat. No, I didn't say that. Mm. Have you seen him lately? He has really gotten clumsy. <laughs> He's been eating nonstop. That's he is. Not what I was saying. You know Ooh, you're clumsy. Wow. You fall out of things. Man. All right, I'm not going to get into this, but you are clumsy. <laughs> oh yeah, he you must think, have, he must think, have been working out. He's not nearly as clumsy as he used well, to be. Well, that's your on you, not me. Mm. I didn't say it. Whatever. Anyway. But it wasn't bad. I Mm-mm. mean. It was just you know. cold. I didn't realize how windy it was. Last year when we went, they had a they had some baby goats, and oh my gosh, our daughter freaked out. I thought we were coming home with one, but they were there was no baby goats. We could hear goats, but no baby goats. I mean, it was muddy. I wouldn't have been wanting to play with a goat running around in the mud. Anyway. Yeah, it was cute though. Oh my gosh! So, what was the name of the place? And I guess it still is the name of the place. It's, that was just yesterday. It's Howard Family Farm in Harmony, North Carolina. Right. So it was the mm-hmm. smallest town mm-hmm. of any small town adventure we've ever done. And then while we were there, are we proceeding to tell what else we did? Sure. Yeah. So we didn't really know what we were going to do after that. Mm-hmm. And so I just start looking on the phone at, you know, what's near there. And mm-hmm, I discovered the Shiloh... Uh, general store, which is an Amish um, store. Oh my goodness, it was the best thing I've ever seen, and I don't know how long. But we, I said, let's go here. It's not far. Everybody's, you know, it's saying to go there. So we had, and the drive, just the driving was pretty, wasn't it? It was. It was. It's the Elkin, North Carolina area. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, yeah, I think Elkin and and what's the other way? Is it is it Winston? Salem, uh-huh. Uh-huh. it's around that that area of North uh-huh. Carolina, and it was uh, so cool. it was really a cool area. Mm-hmm. Um, the general store was packed, oh, you know. Gosh. It was, it, they were getting close to closing time too, because I heard I heard one of the Amish uh, guys, the older gentleman, uh-huh. uh, working behind the counter there, and he said uh, it's closing time. One last call for alcohol. Ha ha. It's closing time. 
One last call for alcohol, so finish your whiskey and beer. And the, and the and you know the Amish, that? yeah, the, yeah. the mm-hmm. Amish usually don't post to sing stuff like that. But <laughs> anyway, we but what we didn't get to do, well, it was so packed in there, but it was mainly it was a lot of people packed by the um, the the butcher area because you could order sandwiches, and then everybody's been telling us how great those sandwiches are, and then they have a huge front porch with all those um, chairs. The um, what are they called? Like Adirondack. Yeah. Um, you know, chairs and everybody, tons. And people sit out there with their little sandwiches and stuff. But we didn't get to eat the sandwich. We have to go back for that. Yeah, and I wonder, though, how much of that, oh, it's great, it's great, it's great, comes from people who are just saying that because the, because the people are Amish. Well, you ate the rolls in the car as soon as your seat hit, your rear end hit the seat. What would you think? We bought a package of rolls. I mean, they were okay. You are so, he was moaning, oh my gosh. That was all right. He loved it. I think some Baptists could have done just as well, or some Methodists. <laughs> well, maybe. I mean, I, mean, I think maybe. a lot of people are just like, oh, it's the Amish, and they're like, ooh. Well, I mean, I mean it makes me good. a better person if I love what the Amish are doing here. I don't think that has anything to do with it. I think mm-hmm. they're just known for their good cooking skills. Yeah, they were looking at me funny because I have a mustache with my beard. They were like, "Uh oh." Nobody's looking at you. Oh, and then hey. when we no, were I'm leaving, kidding. it was really good. It was, it was really good. good. I love the Amish. When when I we just, were, I just I'm sorry, but I just don't know how they're allowed to use cash registers. Yeah, I know. they're not supposed to use technology of any type. Yeah, but they were they were sure doing Apple Pay and all and kinds not, of stuff. And not everything in there was. Uh, from the Amish, there was in, there was things that they sold that were not. Yeah, um, I saw they had matzo balls, hmm. um, bagels, you know, a couple of Jewish items. Okay. In there. Well, anyway, brisket. They had a nice brisket to die for. Mm-hmm. Oh, hand to God. But anyway, um, <laughs> it was good. It was fun. I w- I'm going back. Sure, you are. Yep. With or without me. Yep. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure that'll be the now. thing now. Mm-hmm. 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 But it's beautiful out there. Beautiful drive. Yeah, and then we went on into Elkin, which well, is wait. which is an. Oh wait. Before we went oh, to oh, Elkin, yeah. I noticed that there was a lot of signs for wineries, mm-hmm. and um, I said, so I started googling those, and we went to one, and. Um, it was great. It was beautiful. It was fun. Except Good wine. it wasn't fun whenever the gnats started swarming and two gnats got in your wine. I almost died. Literally, that could have literally that could have killed you. Uh, That's gross. And then we left there and went on into Elkin. All right. <laughs> and we drove. We just wanted to look at Elkin. Mm-hmm. Everybody was saying. Street. Everybody on the comments was going, "Go to Elkin." Go to Elkin. We said, okay. Uh-huh. So we drove well, through Elkin. So we looked up the winery that we went to, mm-hmm. and uh, it was the <laughs> only one that said oh, yeah. that they had beer. They served beer and and wine at the winery. So I said, "Well, let's go to that." I don't mind. I, I like certain types of wine. I'm not against wine, um, but I mean, I just I w- was looking for something uh, refreshing, <laughs> you know. So we found the one that did say that they served uh, beer. So we get there, and I'm looking, and I, it's a beautiful place. I don't see the beer anywhere. And then uh, we asked the guy, do you have beer? And he goes, well, we have this. And he turned to one little <laughs> tap behind him, and he said, this is a, um, a wine made with hops, and it's our version of And then he starts saying this, this, and this. And then he goes, it's more of a mead than a beer would you like to try that and i said mm, no thank you uh-huh. i'll just have i'll just have a glass of this wine they were so nice in there they though. were nice yeah they were nice but there's no way i was drinking mm-hmm. a mead yeah they had a sunroom you could sit in they had mm-hmm. a, a balcony or you could go down they had a little um area that had it was like a little pond and they had a bunch of uh, chairs by the pond yeah, it was, it was yeah, very it was nice. Cool. It's pretty. Uh, then we drove about twenty minutes into Elkin, and they have a very quaint little downtown area. And we went into a bar and had one beer. Uh, the place was called Embers Something Bar, like Pub. Uh, Embers Eclectic Eclectic Pub, Pub or something uh-huh. like that. It was, it was cool. cool. It was a really yeah. cool place. And then uh, we were watching some basketball. Mm-hmm. 
and we were at home and in our pajamas by 6 45 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah eating eating right. eating eating mm-hmm. and then and then we watched a few episodes of that uh, oh. documentary about the netflix i mean i'm sorry the uh, nickelodeon oh, kids that is disturbing yeah that's a bad business all right um moving on is there anything else you want to say about your adventures yesterday Nope. <clears throat> okay. Cause I love of, all of our adventures. I love adventures when we're with little little friend Jenny, handsome husband Michael. I love those. Mm-hmm. I, I do just too. thought maybe since they weren't here, I could throw in my tulip visit. And then everything kind of spiraled from that because we really were not going anywhere as of yesterday morning. Yeah. And to be honest, um, I would have been sad if you hadn't have gotten to go to the tulip patch since you go every year with oh, Lainey. Oh, thank you. Because it and is I a big deal to me. Yeah. And I know but it, you would have rather had her here to do that with you since y'all always do it together. Mm. But now there's a new tradition. You get to yes. go. Maybe, we maybe we'll get a boy to go. Oh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> See, I think he should have stepped up and been the one to take Laney's place. You would think this he was year. a good son. Mm-hmm. But he's not. No. He's not. He's not. Mm. <laughs> All right. So um, we, didn't, we didn't get in a uh, TJ and Jody's house. Uh, episode last week because we had technical issues and stuff we got all that fixed hopefully uh, but we have to tell you about um, Jody living one of the most terrifying oh uh, moments of her life hmm. okay well, we'll do that next TJ and Jody's house We're here with our old friend, Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies. Uh, now, Richard, you just told me something very important that you wanted me to say, uh, but I don't remember what it was, so can you say it for me? <laughs> it was something about numbers and percentages and things that are, yeah, I don't this understand. Is the be- yeah, this is the best way for loan officers to keep the majority <laughs> of the revenue that they earn every year, just like a real estate agent. Got it. You know, real estate agents pay what we call a cap in industry. Normally, it's around sixteen to twenty thousand dollars, and then after they pay in their commission to, to reach that for the company, they keep a hundred percent of it. So we're going to do the same thing at Richard Ocado Companies. You, as a loan officer, are going to pay us a cap of sixteen thousand dollars, and everything else you you keep, it, everything else you earn is yours. So, real quick, an example: if you make two hundred thousand dollars in a year, I'm going to take sixteen thousand of it, and then you're going to keep one hundred eighty-four. The traditional model that loan officers work on now, they do two hundred thousand dollars in revenue, and they keep about eighty thousand or a hundred thousand. Really? So this is gonna change the game. We're gonna do what other real estate firms have been doing for years, but we're doing it on the mortgage broker side. And this is something mm-hmm. that's not being done it's anywhere. Not, it's totally different. Totally different. Not being done anywhere else. We're also gonna have revenue share. So if you bring loan officers to us, you're gonna make money off you know, you're gonna make yeah. money from a downline just sure. like EXP or Keller Williams. Wow. So it's you you gotta check it out. Just go to workwithrichard.info. It's simple. Work with Richard.info. See if it's for you. Give me a call. Let's have a conversation. Okay. Now you want me to try to say it? Yeah, you say it. <laughs> <laughs> check it out. Work with Richard.info. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenic. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying all the others, I decided to try Neogenic. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenic, where all you have to lose is pain. Our nation's second president, John Adams, always slept on the left side of the bed. He believed this would increase his chances of having positive dreams and a more successful next day. That's why every mattress we sell here at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress includes a left side. And for those that prefer waking up on the right side of the bed, our mattresses come with one of those too. This President's Day, you can save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic sets. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. TJ and Jody's house. Hey, welcome back to TJ and Jody's house. The um, the look into our world. <laughs> So uh, every time we record the podcast now, uh, we are in the loft of our our real house, not some set. I know it looks like a set, um, <laughs> but our son is in his room right there, and 
You know, it's weird. You see, my mom and dad are out there doing a podcast. He didn't care. When he walked through a little while ago, he goes, break a leg. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Making fun of us. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, last week, like um, two weeks ago, basically, almost 10 days ago, um, Jody was walking the neighborhood with our next door neighbor. They walk for exercise. Mm-hmm. Our neighborhood has a lot of hills and stuff, and it's a it's a difficult walk. And um, she came back in. This this was last Saturday. She came back in, and so it wasn't two weeks ago. It was a week ago. Mm-hmm. So she came in and and she was panicked, and she said. I just fell down and she's holding her hands out like this <laughs> and her pants are ripped where she had fallen and skinned her knee on the Bleeding. on the uh, concrete, on the blacktop. Um, I was sweating. Yeah. <laughs> God, I was and sweating. then she said, I, just, I fell down and then she goes, and I thought two pit bulls were going to get us. And so she starts telling this story. <laughs> Um, I mean, it was a long story about how they were walking and then there was another woman walking her dog on a leash and then these two pit bulls came out of nowhere because they weren't, you know, on leashes and they, you know, they were just roaming the neighborhood free Mm -hmm. and they attacked the other lady's dog. Yes, it was awful. Okay, and then then the uh, woman that you're walking with, our neighbor, Julie. Yeah. She's trying to get the pit bull to leave that dog alone yeah. and calls it. Like, claps for uh, claps for both. Of, it was two pit bulls. Mm-hmm. It was a white one and a black one. And she claps for them to come to us because the lady's probably, mm, probably two and a half houses ahead of us. But the pit bulls just came from out of nowhere flying down this driveway. And I mean, just one was at the, it was a lab. The lady was walking at its throat. The other one was at its back. She's screaming. She doesn't want to let go of the leash because she's afraid if she lets go of the leash, then they're going to really attack it. And her lab was trying to protect her. And we, I, I don't know. It was just crazy. So then Julie, the neighbor I'm walking with, is like, come here, come here to the dogs. And um, Which, if they're coming to her, then they're coming to you. Yeah. And um, I I have a true, total fear of pit bulls. I just do. Don't, I don't want pit bull people coming at me. I think it's sweet. Y'all love your dogs. But I am truly scared of pit bulls. So she's well, saying, come here to the pit bulls. So guess what? Here they come. And I... When I get scared or panicked on anything, I just freeze. So I'm standing there and I'm frozen and I look at her and I say, uh, Julie, what am I going to do? Because she knows. She knows that, that my fear of that. She goes, just don't look at them and stand still, which I'm thinking, I don't have a problem standing still because I can't move. And so I looked, and they came, and they were just walking around and around and around my ankles. And I'm just thinking, oh, my gosh. And she goes, "Um, I'm so sorry. I called them over here. I know you're panicked. I know. And I said, well, what are we going to do? And she goes, let's just slowly turn around. And start heading back the other way, slowly. And I said, okay. So we slowly turn around and started walking. They followed us for a few minutes, and then they went up somebody else's driveway. They had on um, those collars for an electric fence. Mm -hmm. So we leave there. I don't even know. It was like, I, I don't know. It was like not real or something. So we start walking. This girl drives up, wants to know if we've seen two pit bulls. We tell her, yep, they've attacked that dog. They're Mm -hmm. on the loose. She said it was her neighbor's dogs, da-da-da-da-da. So, and then we see somebody coming at us. There's people walking all over here, and they have two tiny dogs. So we're like, don't head down that way, because if if they did that to the lab, I would be scared they would do something like that to the little puppy. 
So anyway, um, we get back home, we get back here, and the neighbor who, it was her dog, it, it lives about three doors down from us, and we see her, and we're talking to her about what happened, asking her if her dog's okay, which, um, she, her dog had a harness on it, so it was up around its neck, so when the pit bull went for its neck, it was just a bunch of slobber and stuff and couldn't get to it. It did, the other one kind of bit its behind, but I don't think it, I don't think it punctured it. So, I said, and I'm so frazzled at this point, and I'm just standing there, and I go, okay, look, I got to go, I got to go get, I got to go get in the shower. I turn, not walking, turn and fall over. There's a pothole in the ground, my ankle, I don't know, twisted or whatever, I fall down, my leggings ripped, like the knee of them, and my knee's bleeding, my ha- I'm landing on my hands, my hands are red. So she's telling me this long story about the pit bull after she told me that she had <laughs> fallen. So at the end, I'm like, okay, well, wait a minute. So the pit bulls made you fall? Oh, no. I stepped in a pothole and fell out in front of the house <laughs> after that was I over said, with. that had like, nothing to do with me falling. <laughs> but anyway. So, wait, I was look. more mad about my leggings ripping than I was anything. Oh, so, I was furious about that. So let me say this about you pit bull people. Oh, God. If you want to start writing in and calling in and talking trash because somebody said something negative about a pit bull, then just d- deal with it. Tough. You can save your time. Don't be writing in here trying to complain to me about you, you you're being upset and offended because somebody's scared of pit bulls. Okay. I honestly don't think pit bulls should be allowed in U.S. America. Oh. I honestly don't. Okay. I just uh, you don't read about Labrador retrievers in the news every day eating somebody's face off. I'm just saying, if we got laws against people having alligators in their yards and tigers and stuff. And the thing is, like, it's okay <laughs> if you have them, but it, like, it, what, like these no, shouldn't not. have, these shouldn't have been out roaming freely, and then. A pit bull or whatever, whatever dog is attacking another dog by it, and it was on the opposite side of the street. It was horrible to listen to that owner screaming and trying to get that lab away from those dogs. And that dog was not doing anything but was just walking down the street mm-hmm. and had probably encountered several other dogs walking that day. Mm-hmm. Just the encounter with the pit bulls oh, that out of nowhere sad. probably was like, um. On um, that Medea movie about Halloween, when all those uh, people came running out of the woods out of nowhere, like that clown, and was attacking Medea's car and all that, that's probably what it was like. Okay. They just came out of nowhere and just just started going anyway, and doing. I was scared. That's that. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Pit bull people. But they didn't hurt me. I hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, because if, <laughs> if they had of. Okay. Shh. Okay. Next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Uh. But, well, you I mean, y'all can complain to me all you want. I don't care. I'll debate you all day, every day on it. I don't care. Yeah, I don't want to debate. I'm tired. <laughs> I just want some new leggings. That's uh, all. Yeah, I would take them up there to the pit. You want me to take your leggings up to the pit bull house and go, hey. You owe my wife some new... Well, no, they didn't make you fall. They didn't do that. They didn't do anything. Yeah. (laughs) That's right. I did it to me. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I give them that. Yeah. They didn't didn't (laughs) do anything. And honestly, they were really calm when they came... (laughs) When they were circling on my ankles. Probably because they were so worn out from attacking the, the, the lab. No, it's probably one of their other personalities kicked in. And they were like, okay, well, we're chill now. I'm glad. Stop. All right, let's go to the next subject. All right, well, we'll take a break. Uh. <laughs> uh, I would say I'm just kidding with you pit bull people, but I'm really not. I'm I'm exaggerating a little bit, trying to uh, trying to just Stir you know aggravate a little mm-hmm. bit. But I mean, I, I truly I truly don't I don't like them pit bulls. I don't think it's that you don't and like I them; don't, it's that you don't trust them. Well, I mean. And it yeah, depends on who raises them. No, it doesn't. Oh. No, it doesn't. People always say that. It depends on who raises them. But, I mean, if you got to have a dog, the type of dog you got to have is so, um, you know, 
it's so particular that you got to always say that. Well, it depends on who. You never hear that about um, golden retrievers. You know, golden retrievers are vicious. It just depends on who raises them. Are Dobermans around anymore? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, no. I think all the pit bulls ate them. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I say that because okay. my dad was uh, bit by a Doberman. Yeah. Yeah, they're still around. I didn't. I've just never seen any, really. No, you don't see them very. They're not trendy anymore, I don't think. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. All right. More from TJ and Jody's house next. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. If you're so frustrated because you're having to run around all the time, you're so busy, you feel like you're not getting your family something great to eat, then you need Culver's. It's the perfect thing for you. Always made to order fresh, hot ingredients all day, every day. And not only do they have the freshest ingredients all day, every day, but they are a part of the community. They're proud to be a part of the Indian Trail community where they're under new ownership. Belmont, University area, Salisbury. Make them a part of your daily routine. Make it your new neighborhood spot. Short waits for the freshest food in town. Get details at a it's tj.com slash culvers let's go it's tj and jody's house on the radio button network all right we got to wrap this up we got to get this segment done jody's got to go get her car washed yeah. going out to that tulip farm yesterday got mud all over her car and she just can't stand it no, I don't look at so she's got to go get that done mm-hmm. um now here's here is um here's the way stuff goes around here Mm-hmm. All right, so I've been making a little list like this. I write down things on a. Oh, I dropped it. Never mind. It's a note card. It has things on it that we you know, each segment is what we're going to talk about. A little outline. <clears throat> Up until two weeks ago, Jody was. I'm. I just come in and we talk about whatever he's going to talk about. I don't have to do anything about. I just like wait, and I like it that way. Well, all of a sudden, she started coming, looking at my list of things that I've written down for us to talk about. And we, uh, when I made it the list earlier, I put the last segment to be the Dollar Tree Treasures thing. And let me get that. Has that been in the way the whole time? Oh, God. Oh. So, hang on. There. So, I came up here, and she's already sit after I got the the set put up and everything. She's sitting here, <laughs> and I said, "Why? Oh, you've been up here waiting." And she goes, "Well, I mean, I saw you had Dollar Tree stuff on the list, and I was I didn't really have anything, so now I had to go find some stuff that I'd bought at the dollar store to share." I'm like, "Well, I didn't know that, and we could have easily done something else." Yeah, but she came in, saw it written on the list, and she's like. Whereas if she just didn't look at the list. Well, you, then what? Then I would have looked. Prepared you now. know what I would have done? I would have come in here and I said, hey, I, I don't remember. Did you say you had dollar store stuff this week or not? Mm-hmm. And if you said not really, then I would have gone, okay, well, then we'll talk about this or whatever. Mm-hmm. But okay, it's fine because I like the dollar store things. And she I'm, just, I don't know. Did you have these dollar store things? You just didn't want to sh- uh, share them because they're 
supposed to be surprises for no, Easter or something? No, Okay. I have them. I forgot I got them. All right. But listen, it may not, I, we may just do whatever treasures I find from anywhere. It may be Dollar Tree. It may yeah. be Dollar General. It may be Pop Shelf. I don't, I don't mm-hmm. know. We're gonna, yeah, I think so. I'm changing it up. And we'll do that until one of them decides they want to be the sponsor of the segment, and then we'll exclusively use that one. Exactly. Um, Dollar Tree has turned down said uh, opportunity to sponsor the segment so Mm -hmm. that's fine yeah it's all right i still like the dollar tree Mm -hmm. so i'll show you what i got so we've been doing yard work i'm sure you've talked about that how you've been Mm -hmm. doing yard work Mm -hmm. i know you have and um i ruined my gloves with the mulch that we put out um so look how cute these are got me some new little gardening gloves are those a dollar twenty five or dollar, five dollars? Dollar twenty five. Okay. And they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. Put very the rubber on this side. They very. They got are. little lemons on them. They're they just very cute are. Cute as they can be. Yep. Do they have of gloves from you throwing my oven no. mitt gloves away? No. My of. Uh, I have uh, these oven gloves. They. They started out being called of gloves. Those were the first ones. Mm-hmm. And then we had company one night, and Jody threw them away when she was cleaning no, up I didn't. the kitchen. And so now I have not. No, I didn't. I have no of gloves. He threw them away. But anyway, I wasn't even. I didn't even clean the kitchen. Yeah, you did. You no, I didn't. Okay. And the All other right, thing whatever. is, I needed a new towel wrap for when I get out of the shower, and this is a microfiber hair wrap. Oh, love, I was going to say that love, thing's tiny. Love it to be wrapping around it's you. Soft. Feel that. And you know I love oh, purple. Oh yeah! As you see, look what I'm Everybody wearing. knows you love purple, I know, girl. I'm sitting here. In That's it. all people talk and about. And then I got me a new uh, eyeglass cleaning cloth. It was purple. Mm-hmm. Purple's my favorite color too. So. And look at this. Why are you biting? I on got me? us for a dollar twenty-five eyeglass cleaner. <laughs> you know. Hush. <laughs> no, I saw that in the pantry in there. And I need I, to clean it. all my glasses. They're horrible. But I thought. Why in the world is she hiding this from me? Because you put that in the in the closet with the stuff that you hide from me, like Little Debbie's and uh, Easter candy and things like but that. But I, I do that. I put it in there so that I know, like, when we go to do this, that this is the stuff I've bought. Mm-hmm. And now I'll use it. Okay, but I, I just couldn't figure out why that, that was something you were trying to hide from me. I wasn't. I get why you hide the Little Debbie's and the candy and stuff. Why do I hide that? Um, because you think I'm fat. No. Why and you I? remind me about every five minutes. I do not. I do not. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway. But yeah, you do need to clean your glasses all oh the time. Oh my God, they're are you so gonna, bad. Are you going to use those things? The wipey cloth and the glass cleaner? Uh-huh. Well, let me see your glasses now. Are they up here? Uh-huh. Ooh. Oh, and they're purple. <laughs> Look at that. That's hideous. Wow. I know. I'm sorry. I wish the camera could pick that up. <laughs> it's so it's bad. So gross. It's disgust. I agree. It, because I do this. Wow. Can you see? I, I, it looks like uh, I just came up from uh, <laughs> out of a swimming pool. <laughs> well, I'll clean them today with my new cleaner and cleaner cloth. Yeah. Um. Oh, let me tell you about a little thing, a little trick that I did this week. Um. For you people that like to clean, like me, clean windows. I got so excited over this. So I found if you get three microfiber uh, towels, which you can get those at the dollar store, and you do, uh, and, and Dawn dish liquid, which you can get that at the dollar store. Yeah, but it is, it's Dawn, D O N. Dawn. At the dollar store. Dawn. It's, it's a knockoff, Dawn. It's not. He's making fun of me. But anyway. <laughs> You you get it. You get the first towel really wet, and you put the d- d- Dawn liquid on it, and get it soapy, not wring and wet, but wet, and wipe your windows from top to bottom, side to side, side to side. Get the second microfiber towel, dampen it, not wring and wet, but just damp. Go over that where it's just water, and then take the third dry microfiber towel and go over that. No streaks, crystal clear. I was so excited. So then I got on a roll, and I was wanting to do all the windows, but no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, 
it's easy. needing me to go outside and help her with the ones outside. Hold the ladder yeah. for her. I didn't want to fall yeah. again this week. But she was looking at it like, she's like, okay, well, I guess I can do the outside of those tomorrow. That was stressing she's me. She's looking at them and then she kept mentioning it. And just, <laughs> I mean, we have a big ladder. I mean, I need a big ladder. We're going to need a big ladder. We have, you have one, don't you? Yeah, I do. Go get it. No, she just kept saying. Then finally I go. Because <laughs> uh, she said, I'm I'm about to go take a bath now. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go take a bath. I've been going you know, all day. And then um, <laughs> she kept saying something about the ladder and the windows. And finally I said, do you want to do that now before you go to bed? I mean, before you go take a bath? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think I, think <laughs> I would. Yeah. <laughs> Just obsessing about it. Well, the windows look disgusting. And yeah. I'd already cleaned the inside. So I wanted to get the outside cleaned. And then... I just love it. So three microfiber towels and Dawn dish liquid. That's all you need. But and water. But you're Southern. You can say Dawn. 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 I know. It's stressing me to Dawn. say Dawn. Dawn. You say Dawn. 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 Anyway. <laughs> Good hack there, y'all. Good hack when you're doing is, your is spring that cleaning. A hack? Would that be considered a hack? Probably. I don't know the language fast. of the youth. I just I was know. so thrilled and I wanted to share y'all with mm-hmm. my cleaning hack. That's good. <laughs> I, this is. I live an exciting life. Are we still recording? Do we just get an update here? Oh. Yeah, it looks like we are. Never mind. My computer's been popping up little messages on the screen the whole time. I don't know whether we've recorded anything today or not. I'm going to tell you what. I guess we'll figure it out. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh-huh. Why am I face so red? Why are you looking at yourself? I don't know. Because I'm looking look at this there. messages. I'm looking. All right. You need to look up All right. there. Thank you. We mm, got to go. Bye. Mm. Bye. It's TJ and Jody's house on the Radio Button Network.